Hello guys, as you guys know that I have been using FreeBSD for quite a while now and yeah, I was just basically experimenting mostly with the software and today I'll be talking to you guys about my experience so if you now open up Photovox and I'll shut up the desktop that I have um, I did try to install Gentoo but as you guys will see in a minute I just want to talk about that right now is that it boots up <laughs> but then we have a grab error Grub, loading to grub and then um, yeah so this is my life boot and we need to load the kernel first so I need to figure out how to load the kernel but um, it took me like all day to get this installed and seeing this message is actually a bit annoying but this is not our subject to today our subject today is about what, what I like about FreeBSD alright let's stand up for photo machine and see how awesome it is um, yeah switch please so basically, this is um, FreeBSD. I would say that I really did have a good experience with FreeBSD. It is very stable, indeed. It's very easy to set up, in fact. It's a lot more easier than Arch. In fact, I, I recommend people to install FreeBSD before Arch, though, because um, Arch is a lot more easier than Arch Linux. Um, but I think that FreeBSD is a great system for servers, for desktop side, um, I may lack some software um, compatibility, but I didn't really find any issues with it running in a virtual machine. But yeah, it was mostly made for servers anyway. It's quite easy to install packages and stuff like that. It's easy to log in as root. It's easy to um, add users and things like that. It's a very easy system. Um, we may struggle. I was struggling a lot with then installing for a desktop environment and getting it to work. But um, I was able to do it for the very end. So I yeah, just wait for it to load up. Starting Slim X4 session, and now it should boot up to the OS, and then we'll be able to log in as the root user. <laughs> but yeah, this is basically what it is. Have the enter our username, which for me is John, my password, which I'm not telling you. You know, it's a very simple password, but who cares? Anyway. Anyway guys, so I should be booting up any minute now. Um, I don't really have much stuff on here anyway. See, I did change the mouse pointer, it's now red, because I like red. Red is cool. <laughs> so I have to press on the right control to exit out of this VM, and I can go back like this. Um, so yeah, this is free. I got the XFCE edition installed for a desktop environment, because I think it's very great for the... Um, um, if we go to applications, then there will be a list of applications that I can open up. I did install some additional softwares. Um, my favourite one, in fact, is if we go to internet. This is what one of my favourite web browsers is. It's not as popular as Firefox. I think they, in fact, I just support for it. But I really do like it. I think it runs pretty well on FreeBSD. It's available for Linux, Windows, and Mac OS, I do believe. But we can maximise it. And the taskbar is gone. It looks so similar to Mac OS though, if you think about it, because of this. Anyway, guys, so now I have booted up to the FreeBSD website, we can download it. Uh, make sure I download for CPU for a computer. Most of the time it will be um, and it will be a 64 bit PC, such as AMD 64, it would be most like that one. We can also install that one, we can install any of these if the CPU support it. But I recommend you to install this one, as this one is mostly likely to be your computer CPU thing. Um, for different devices, it might be different. Yeah, this is SD cards, installer images, photo machines images. Um, so, yeah, basically, that is all that. It is open source as well, which is what I like about it. I haven't read the source code yet, though. Um, this is the documentation, so if you need some help with it, then you can go over here. And it's a very friendly community as well. You could always ask for some help on the forums. There's um, chapters for setting up the system. Um, we can go to MP3 audio, we can go to document viewers and to browsers. So just to find out different types of web browsers they have. Um, they use Firefox uses that medium of resources um, at one medium. But the issue that I have with this um, web browser is that if I, for example, go to YouTube, um, it shows up an error when I try to play a video. Um, hold on, I want to go to... 
Let's go back. Okay, I want to go to actual YouTube page. YouTube.com. Let's go there. And now we can look at um, how videos play, <laughs> even though they don't play at all. But you're meant to install something additional or something. But yeah, this is basically for web browser that I got installed. Um, this is the default web browser because it works fine with FreeBSD. This is graphic software that I got installed. I have installed LibreOffice. Um, oh, I logged into YouTube. I didn't log here. I don't really want to see my details. Let's go to YouTube. Okay, guys. So um, we can go to settings and go to accessibility. I find this there's a very very simple um, OS to use. It's very useful. In fact, I wish I could install it, but we we'll have to use Linux because Linux is just perfect for me. It's I like open source, and I need to use some apps that that will be compatible. I don't know why YouTube's not loading though. But yeah, um, the mouse pointer. Um, I gave a little bit of RAM though. It only, it only has a little bit of RAM. Um, I think it only has like one gigabyte of RAM or something like that. Two point one gigabytes of RAM, so it's not that big. Or a amount of RAM. Um, I think I might have to add two CPUs to it just to make it a lot more better performance. But yeah, this is running for latest version of X Force Edition. I do believe four point sixteen. Um, if we go to about. Then this is what all different types of softwares that were got installed. I do believe that is by the X Force team. Um, yeah, you can go to credits. This is all for developers' information. So, if the only issue that I was having is that whenever I play a YouTube video, it just always shows up the error. Like for this one, for example, I don't even know them. They just recommend. Were they just on my recommendation list? Pregnant team fired. T pregnant teacher fired. Gosh, why was she fired? Ah, they can play YouTube videos. Last time I didn't know. Okay. That's cool. Yeah, so apparently it can play YouTube videos, but I can't. Well, I can, literally, I can, but it will be very laggy. Because this virtual machine doesn't have much, much stuff to it. Um. I would say overall, I had a very good experience using FreeBSD, and it is possible to run it as a desktop OS. But to be completely honest, I think that will guys would beneficial more on Linux if we like to use open source products, because Linux has much better um, software compatibility. Because um, Linux is made for desktop, for servers, and for fridge, or for toaster, <laughs> whereas FreeBSD was kind of mostly focus on for server side in my opinion so I think it's great if you want to set up a server but um, with a software compatibility it might be an issue because it, we don't have Steam on here and people try to install Steam um, from Linux because you can run Linux applications within um, FreeBSD but they run into issues while installing Steam so we're gonna be lacking some gaming compatibility but I think that FreeBSD, it is possible to run it. There is some games available for BS, FreeBSD, but um, we cannot run. Um, well, we may be able to run Steam, but as I said, people had issues with installing Steam onto FreeBSD. So we might run into issues. And for a new user, like somebody who's not as tech savvy as I am, or not as tech savvy as you, would maybe would struggle with FreeBSD. Especially if they run into the. Um, Login manager issues and stuff like that. Like, hey, I'm unable to log into the um, desktop environment with the same issue that I had. But yeah, it's it's a very good system if you are a tech savvy guy. And it has a very good responsive. It's very responsive. And I, if, if I actually did install this um, instead of Linux, I think I would have some good experience with it, in my honest opinion. It is different to Linux, though, it's not a Linux distribution. But I think it's great, in my honest opinion. They have all these software compatibilities. Um, we can install. Um, I don't know if we can actually. Um, it's very easy to install packages. All you do is put down a password, pkgin, and then install. And then we have to do gimp. And that is basically um, pkgin. <laughs> Um, PKG. Uh, I forgot. G 
GIMP. Yeah, and just basically how to install packages. So GIMP is already installed, I guess. Our rep is, is installed. Um, number of packages to be installed, and we can press on to yes, and then that should do it. And it's also, I don't want to install it because I already have it installed, but if the best one to clear, and now if we do free, um, free BSD, and now if we do update, then it should update. No, I forgot how to do how to update the system, but yeah, it's very simple to update it. There's a very nice forums online, so if we go to the um, web browser, which I said is default, this other one, then we can search up how to update FreeBSD. Um, we don't want that on YouTube, it's just not good. Okay, so now if we search up on Google, or DuckDuckGo, DuckDuckGo is the best, because it does not track you as well as Google does. Um, DuckDuckGo.com so this is duckduckgo.com. I don't know if Tor is available on this system, but I don't really use Tor because I'm not really that. I'm not really that guy who, um, who is um, scared of being tracked all the time. Like paranoid. I'm not as paranoid. Okay, so now on duckduckgo, right? Now we can just search up, for example, free BSD, and then we can do update. And most of the time. What we'll get is um, the top link will be from the FreeBSD community website. They basically have everything there. If one is the um, project, then it will be at the top because FreeBSD has a very big community who's happy to help. Such as if we put down um, FreeBSD install um, Firefox, then it will be at the top. It will be the FreeBSD website to give for a manual on how to do things. So I know on the manual. This is what I like about it is that it has a very big community. If we scroll all the way down, um, applying security patches, this is all I really care about, <laughs> is security patches. Um, if I don't get it, then I'll upgrade. But I think I should be fine with security updates. Okay, so free BSD, and then if we want to do um, update, and I'll fetch, and that should fetch all the updates that are available for the system. Um, if it says um, no updates is available, then I'm alright. So this is going to inspect our system and change the updates and then for the next command that we have to do is free bsd update and then install so yeah i think this is a very very useful system so yeah there's a big manual here which you guys can read through um if we, um update failed or it was no longer able to boot up due to a kernel issue then we have to do free bsd update rollback and then that should re-roll back to the previous state before we head for update. But most of the time it is very stable and wouldn't fail on an update. So we we'll won't have to worry about that. Okay, just wait for it to be installed. Um, I thought does this. Um, the system can be configured to automatically um, check for updates once every day by adding this entry. I wouldn't do that. I don't want to install updates automatically because if I do a reboot, then um, it might corrupt the system. This is why I don't like automatic updates. All right, no updates needed to update system to 13.0 release P4. So it's no security updates. But if it did have an update, then obviously we'll have to do that, and then I have to do update and then install. So this will install for update. So yeah, this should install for updates and yeah. No updates are available to install. And if we exit from root, then press on to exit. Now we're logged out as root, and now we can do clear. Now we can exit again, and we should exit from the terminal. Um, we can make it check for updates daily. Yeah, I just really like using this system. Um, for following command, we found it on. We'll upgrade to FreeBSD 9.1. What version of FreeBSD do I have, though? I have the. Um, FreeBSD 13.0 release P4. Don't know if that's the latest one, but I still get security updates, so I'm fine. Can maximize if I wanted to. Um. So, yeah, guys, that's my experience with FreeBSD. I think it's a very, very good system. It is possible to run it as a desktop OS. Um. It's not really for gaming at all. 
It's mostly made for servers, but if you want to use for BSD, then you can, it is possible. Wikimon is a dual boot, in fact, with Linux. If you see those texts, then it's completely normal. These texts are a good thing. Uptime is how long I was on this system for. Um, yeah, and that was uh, my experience with FreeBSD. I would give Arad 4 out of 5 stars. I think it's a very, very good system. Anyway, guys, um, you guys can have a go at FreeBSD. There's like a manual on how to install it. Um, there is videos on YouTube on how to install FreeBSD, and I think it is a good system. There are some games available for B for FreeBSD, such as SuperTax cards. There's also some softwares that we can install for FreeBSD. It's not as much as Linux, but we can run Linux applications on there, but it might not always work. The reason why we can run Linux applications on there is because FreeBSD is quite similar to Linux. The only difference, I would say, is they were for licensing, basically. That's the only really difference of it. It's the licensing. Um, if I have a look at the um, free BSD website, then you guys can always download it from there. And there should be like a manual on how to install it and stuff like that. So, yeah, we can go to the um, documentations, we can go to Handbook. And start doing the stuff with it. And so I would recommend doing in a VM at first, though, because um, as you guys know, that I ran into an issue with getting the um, desktop environment to work. So I had to reinstall it like five thousand times. So yeah, try it first inside the terminal. And if you guys really, really want to run FreeBSD, which is fine, you guys can. I'm not forcing you to stay on Linux. I mean, I recommend Linux over FreeBSD, but. Um, if you guys really, really do want to use FreeBSD, then you can always install it to a main PC. I just highly recommend you guys to try it first inside a VM, so that way you're used to the installation. Because it's not really the same sort of installation as Linux Mint. It's a little bit more complex. It's more. It's not really as hard as Arch Linux, but it's still a little bit challenging to get it installed. Um, it's basically a text-based install once you have it all set up. For the first part of it is like a graph user interface that will have the best on to enter and tab and stuff like that. <laughs> but yeah, well guys should be able to be fine with installing FreeBSD. But if you have installed Arch Linux or, or, or Gentoo, then you can go straight to installing it on the actual hardware. <laughs> because obviously you have very good experience with text-based installs. But um, basically, I would highly recommend FreeBSD to anyone who really, really wants to run a server and really wants it to be very more stable for Linux. So FreeBSD is a good alternative to Linux if you want to take a break from it or something like that. It's very simple. I didn't have any issues with FreeBSD. In fact, I think it's one of the best systems out there, better for Windows at least. And yeah, and also if you run into any issues, which you guys shouldn't do, because it's a very very good system. There's a blog. I think if we go to um, the support um, bug reports, I don't know where to go to for community. <laughs> I don't know. Because I have a very very good community out there. So if you go to the forums, then there should be for forums and you can ask questions, then half the users would be happy to answer. In fact, some of the people that work for FreeBSD might be happy to answer questions. I never used the FreeBSD forms, I use something different. I use Unix and Linux forms and I find this one a lot more useful than this. But the guys can always ask for help in the FreeBSD forms and they will help, be happy to help you um, because there's a very good community out there. So guys that was a video about um, FreeBSD and my experience with it and yeah Thanks so much for watching, please like and subscribe, and yeah, I didn't post in a while because I was a bit busy, but I was able to post right now because I'm kind of free right now, but yeah guys, thanks so much for watching, please like and subscribe, and yeah, I'll see you guys next time, bye.